religion's a waste of human intelligence. I don't really have a religion. Like, I believe in st different things from different religions. I guess you could call me like an agnostic. I... I'm an atheist, actually. Yeah. Please pray for me. Please bless me. Right, Is that allowed in yes, the mic yes. and all that? All right, let's go, girl. All right. My shirt, I got, um, I was moshing. I, I coughed up blood and I started I started throwing up blood. So maybe everyone could just be on the same, like, transcendental plane or something. I'm so sick. I don't know if I can say this, but huh, marijuana makes me happy. I guess I wanted a lot of attention from guys, and all I thought was money, 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 and material, 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 and I said, I'll do whatever it takes. Heavily addicted to uh, crystal meth. I got involved in homosexual lifestyle, prostitution, pornography. From seventh grade, I started cutting myself. I was a, a stripper. I started like being an escort. I'm in and out of jail, just a life of chaos. High school came around, that's when my drugs, my alcohol became more heavier on me. Me and my sisters thought we had to just do what we had to do to make money, so we'd go prostitute ourselves. And then I got pregnant. How am I supposed to make money and be pregnant? And um, I ended up getting an abortion. I was drinking one night. I pulled myself in a situation that someone just took advantage of me. It felt so disgusting, I just felt, why am I living for, why am I here? And it doesn't fill me, it doesn't satisfy me, I'm always hungry for more. I always just felt, and it sounds corny, but I always just felt like there was something missing, you know? I couldn't forgive myself. I couldn't forgive myself all the things I've done. I just wanted to end my life, and I just remember crying, taking a whole bunch of pills, and I needed to take the pills so I can slice my wrist. And just to the point, I just wanted to like, just commit suicide. What we're trying to do is just go out and, and reach the, the youth right where they're at, not come out all religious and preachy. You know, it just comes to a point where we have to, literally, we have to murder our flesh. We can't compromise. And Jesus, he needs warriors. People can relate to us because we, we're just like them. Even now, you know, I don't do the stuff I used to do, but it wasn't that long ago that I did do it, so I understand. I don't judge no one. I know both sides, man. I was without Christ, and I went and I received Christ. I felt like love poured all around me like water and peace, and I was able to walk away from all the drugs and look at my daughter and say, I'm going to raise you. I'm going to leave my career. I'm going to do the right things now, and it's been the best decision of my life. There is going to be people that are going to come to this event that you, they won't go to church. I like how, you know, they're using radical, extreme ways to draw them in. It's everything about meeting them right where they are. Just like someone met me and met some of my buddies here, you know what I mean? you got to meet them right where they are in the mix of it. Everything's extreme right now. Who can get the drunkest, who can get the highest, who's doing this and that the most. So with these guys explaining their stories and how God came in and captured their hearts, Kids can go, oh, I, I get that, I understand that, that's me too. So they can, they'll sit and they'll listen versus someone who hasn't been through anything, they're not gonna listen to them. Like everything the world has to offer, I've got a taste of fame, I've got a taste of money, traveling the world, party and all this stuff. You can have all that and still feel completely empty and dried up at the end of the day. And I found that the only thing that can fill you up is a true relationship with our Lord. They'll even ignore a reputable, devoted people who live in amongst the silly gorillas because of the heinous nature they live in, their filth but love to be foes. Their virus is dark and their verdict, so every portrayal of God is a fallacy. Their reality is strong for the depravity. All of humanity is to the back. I think that we should have considered diseases. What we were should never be taken with ease. Set up the quarantines. Our vanity's all in the tree. It's like nobody's really getting checked by the after effect that there was a wrath and effect that is already happening. Yes, to anyone living the scene. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. If you look around, it looks like a bunch of freaks and weirdos, but um, that's what we are for Jesus. Save them all at all costs, man. Whatever it takes, you know, we, we got to do it. When you're strange, 
Jesus went to where the people are. You know, he went to the back alleys where the prostitutes and the tax collectors and, you know what I mean, the, the scum of the earth hung out. Getting extreme and getting desperate to win a, win a generation that probably would never hear the gospel. And the people who didn't have hope will now have hope. People who are suicidal won't be suicidal anymore. So more people will have more stories. I know we look freaky, but the Lord called us and uh, he's got a plan for this whole thing. I think a lot of people think that God's this thing looking down at you going, I can't believe you did this. You're not worthy of this and that. But to be honest, God is just sitting there waiting for you to come to him and be like, you know what, God, I suck. Jesus is like, come. I'm here. I've been posted up waiting for you. Where you been? He changes your heart, dude. Then God's just like, dude, he picks you up. He's like, come on, dog, you're with me now. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, never met any, any guys that were so black and white about the word of God, not compromising, running hardcore like Jesus kicking up dust. I was like, dang, these guys are crazy. Because I'm raw, I'm real, so are the whosoevers. And we're just like bringing it like it is, talking about it like it is, and, and being straight. I see the kid that is desperate and is going to hell. And I'm still drawn to go out into the world to the deepest, dirtiest, darkest corners of the world to, to be whatever flickering light I, I can be. But now that I know you, I can never turn my back away. And now that I see you, what do I want to leave the back? Because I, I feel so Best I've ever been to, bro. I love the exit, dude. Right on, this right on. Awesome. This was awesome. Best experience of my lifetime. God, God put a vision on our heart, man. It was just that we would be real to these people and we'd identify with Christ and, and, and hopefully build that gap so that they can identify with Christ and not religion, man. And so just to see it come into pass and everybody showing up, it's a, it's a good day, man. I'm blessed. The presentation changes, but the word doesn't change, bro. So we got to reach those kids where they are and somehow find a way to touch them in their hearts, man, and meet them on where they're at. Yeah, I was a prostitute. I said it. Everything. I think the way I think, the way, I mean, the actions I do is everything. I just felt like I needed to change it all. I really got touched and I thought about, like, my past life and how I wanted to change. And from this day forward, I want to be a true old Christian. They're very inspiring and they, like, really touched my heart about it, about loving God and stuff in life. God saying, I got you, son. I got you. Let me do it for you. Let me show you. Like a daddy does to his, to his little baby, I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you. I've already done this for you. I'm protecting you. I'm washing you. I'm cleaning you. I'm raising you. I'm bringing you up. And I'm going to show you what I want to do in your life. It inspired me. It put a, a, a righteous jealousy in my heart to dig deeper. And it challenged me to sit with God and to shut up and listen. And that was hard. God knows where you're at. He knows what you're going through. He loves you so much. He loves you unconditionally. For this particular group of people to come out and say, hey, you know, we love the Lord and we're, we're going to play our music and we're going to preach and we're going to witness and we're going to be here to pray with you. And I just think it's awesome. So much of the things that they talked about here, like drugs and everything, especially here in Vegas, so much sin. And it's something that we really need here. You know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to them because it's not a setup. This is not really phony. Now, these people, they, they were, I mean, they were smoking marijuana. There was all kinds of stuff going on. But when the message came, there was a reverence. You know, God took over, and God was here, and that was counts, and God keeps the numbers, and the angels in heaven rejoice. <laughs> I love it. I've been persuaded, see that I see the Savior, I 
see his grace is amazing. I persevered to the end. I'm on it. It sound dope. He's irresistible. Only I press on. I've been persuaded. Whosoever. That means everybody. If he could love me for turning my back on him and spitting in his face, and he could embrace me with open arms and use me, I was in. Their whole message is love. Love is so powerful, it, it's literally a revolutionary movement. It's gonna change everything. It changed me. I was this filthy person and God just transformed me completely. Every single piece of me, he transformed. Every single part of me, inside and out. I give all the glory to God because because of Him, I'm here. Because of Him, I'm out in the pit. Because of Him, not because of me, because of Him. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever, 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 whosoever believeth in Him did not perish, but have everlasting life. And everlasting life starts now. It doesn't start when we die. We get in a relationship with Him now, so dive in.